Hello everyone, it's Kay. How's it going? So, let's get started. This is a recorded video, it's not a live. So, uh, every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Saturday, I do the recorded video. So, today and tomorrow, it's going to be recorded. So, for those, for those who are new to my channel, let me introduce myself briefly. And my name is Kay, K-E-I-K. -E and I am a Japanese full-time Forex trader here in, based in Tokyo, Japan. And in my YouTube channel, I mainly talk about three things. And one is how to simplify your market analysis. And second, how to be time efficient. And third, most importantly, how to become a non-losing trader over time, as it states here, so that you can be a profitable trader in the long run. And also, I have been using Ichimoku Kinko Hyo for the past five years as one of my main trade strategies. And I have been sharing the extensive knowledge through the original book in English also. And as far as I know, I'm the only Japanese uh, trader who uses, who teaches Ichimoku Kinko Hyo from, from the original book from Japan. So hopefully you enjoy my Ichimoku lectures. And if you're interested to join the Ichimoku community that I run, you can click on the link below description and you can find the, all the detail of the community. Recently, I have released the new book, Ichimoku Basic Theories book, that talk about three theories, wave and time and price theories. So you can uh, enjoy these books also as one of the perks to join. So let me talk about the end wave today. Um, if you're not familiar with Ichimoku, waves are very important. And as per Ichimoku, um, there are three types of waves, mainly. One is I wave, and second is um, the V wave, and the third, the N wave. And I will talk about the N wave today because N wave is the most important wave structure of Ichimoku Kinko Hyo. So, for example, here I happen to have this uh, GPP AUD, and this is a 4 hour chart, but here we can see the N wave here. And how you can basically capture waves is that you just simply look for the highs and lows. So, let me highlight the highs first. So, here are the tops, and this one is also the top. And over here, this is also top, and there's another top over here, and also over here too, there's a top. So these are the highs and the lows. Um, I kept the lows like this. Let me highlight real quick. And simply, you uh, connect the dots. So let me connect these dots like this, and you get the waves. So I think this is uh, very simple, but this is very important and this is very powerful to know which way the market is wanting to go. So right now, this is um, wh which wave is this? Is that this is a reverse in wave structure because there is um, um, lower highs and lower lows, basically, and this is the reverse in wave consecutive. So in this case, and the market looks like it's breaking the recent low downwards now on this level. So we can expect well, actually, this is already the reverse in wave now. As the market broke the recent low downwards, this is the reverse in wave. So in this case, I see that the market is bearish. And the market looks to be downtrending still along the way. So in this case, I won't look for buy chance. I, I only look for the sell chance in this market. Because I find that this is the in the middle of the reverse in wave. Like this as I draw earlier. So, you know, sometimes when the market is range, you, you don't see any end waves, you don't see any reverse end waves. Um, basically, you see the P wave structure, like a squeezing P wave or a, a, a symmetrical triangle you might find in the range market. But when it's trending, you must see the end wave. So end wave is very important to capture the trend direction. And that's the lesson of Ichimoku Kinko Hyo here. And if you can add uh, further confirmations to sell, in this case, by looking at the five lines of Ichimoku, uh, it's obvious that this is downtrend because simply the Senko span B is down and A is down, Kijun Sen is down, and Chikou span below the candles now. 
So this is a good confirmation to sell. I mean, um, you can look at the lower time frames to look for the sell chance in this case. So here, um, I wanted to remember that this is in the middle of the reverse end wave, and that's why uh, we can still look for the sell chance. Um, let me check a couple of other markets. Um, I think you are curious about the gold and Bitcoin, so let me talk about these pairs today. So let me show the daily chart. Okay, here's um, XAUUSD, the gold. Uh, on a, this is a daily chart. And what kind of wave we can see here is that uh, this is, looks like this is in the middle of the end wave because uh, before, uh, let's see, let's start from here on this day, 24th of September, the market went up once to this level and then it went down all the way between 6th of October and 7th of October, it was downtrend and then it spiked up all the way to um, this high on this 12th of October and then it went down. So this was at the 14th of October. So since uh, 24th of September up to 24th, uh, sorry, uh, 14th of October, this was the end wave structure. So it was end wave, bullish end wave like this. And I was expecting that the market is going up like this way. However, it didn't happen. From the 14th of October, the market went bullish, but it stopped over here. So, um, if I just put the horizontal line here, on, on the top of this uh, 12th of October, um, the market did not quite reach the recent high on this 12th of October, but actually it was uh, you know, bearish afterwards. So I can say that uh, from here, it was bullish in wave, but from after this day of the 12th of October, um, I thought the market is gonna go up on this consecutive bullish in waves. However, it didn't happen and instead it went downwards this way. So as a result, it became bearish in wave from the 12th of October. It became bearish in wave and it went all the way up to this 29th of October. And afterwards, what's happening is that the market is going up. It just went up all the way to the recent high on this today, the 9th of November. And then now it's going down. So the price is still in the Kumo now and Chikou Span touching the candles, Kumo flat. So this is range market. So there, there, it looks to be no direction in the market. Uh, but um, on this structure, I can find that, that this might be the potential bullish in the wave like this way. Looks like the market is being supported by this, the lower part of the Kumo and also Kijun Sen. So if it happens, then if uh, it should go up this way. And eventually it might break the Kumo uppers. So um, yeah, this to me, this looks to be the continuous bullish in the wave so far. However, the market might go down afterwards. Uh, it might, it might try to go up, but it might not gonna break the recent high of this level, of um, 1966 level. It may not gonna reach there, and the market might go down afterwards. In this case, we find that this is a reverse in wave, and after that, uh, we should look for the sell chance as per the wave analysis. So um, yeah, so this is one way that you can capture the waves and how where the market is going forward now. So so right now, I think that this is still in the middle of the bullish wave, and there's a potential that the market go up afterwards still. However, this is in the range market, the price is in the Kumo, and uh, Kumo flat, Chikou Span touching the candles, so it might go continuously go down and honestly I don't know which way it's going but if I see the kind of pushback over here then it might go up is, the, is my opinion right now.
So that's the gold wave analysis here as per daily chart. And let's move on to Bitcoin. Let's check the Bitcoin and this is still bullish to me and the daily chart. And this is bullish because this is still in the middle of the end wave, bullish end wave. So if I capture the recent low, or in this area, um, hold on, let's see. In this area, I see small retracements, but overall, it's been uptrending. And also the market has been above the Tenkan Sen. So I won't take these lows for this uh, potential like a river, um, you know, pushbacks. But um, so I will start count the wave in this case from here, from this low of uh, 16th of October. And so if I start to count, it, count the waves from here, then it went all the way up to this day of a uh, 6th of November. And it went down the next day, 7th of November, it went down. And now it looks like this is going up. So in this case, I can still uh, you know, sense the potential break of the recent high upwards this way on this bullish in wave. As per Ichimoku 5 lines, um, the equilibrium is bullish. So I talked about it um, last week, but um, the equilibrium is bullish simply because the price is still above the Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, and the Kumo here, and Chikou Span above the candles too. So this is nice confirmation for this bullish equilibrium. However, however direction-wise, this is flat. And that is captured by the angle of the Kumo and Kijun Sen, and also Tenkan Sen too. So when you see the angles of Kumo, Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen, these are flat. You can see that these are flat. So that means the market might come back to Tenkan Sen or Kijun Sen. And if, if the market breaks the Kijun Sen downwards, then it's going to reach the Kumo. That can be expected. However, right now, the price is still above the Tenkan Sen. So it may consolidate, consolidate for a while, but I, I can see that overall structure is too bullish. So I think it's going to break the recent high upwards sometime near future. So let me... Um, so um, right now, this is on the bullish in the wave. However, if, uh, if the market does not break the recent high and it went backwards this way, let's say, this might be a double top structure and it goes down this way. And if it breaks this recent low downwards this way, then it might break. I think it might already break in the Kijun Sen downwards then. And then it might go all the way to the Kumo. So if it happens, um, it's better to stay away from the market uh, because it might be volatile afterwards. It might be consolidating or range afterwards. But as long as the price is above the Kijun Sen, in this case, I can still expect that this is the continuous bullish new wave and I will still look for the buy chance in this case. So if you can read the market this way by the wave analysis, um, it actually simplifies your analysis and it actually simplifies um, the way you can capture the market direction. And if you can add the five lines of Ichimoku knowledge to this wave analysis, then you can best capture which way really the market is wanting to go. And when you stop looking for the trade chance, you can capture it. That will be after the price breaks the Kijun Sen downwards in this case, in this Bitcoin daily chart. Then you don't want to look for the buy chance anymore if it happens. So, all right, so that will be it for today's video. I hope you liked it. And if you liked it, please press a good button and make sure to subscribe and click the bell button so that you get notified as I do these lives and videos every day. So, tomorrow I will talk about, um, let's see, hold on. Tomorrow's topic will be um, a little bit different. Uh, if we can scroll down a little bit, um, I will talk about the uh, the concept, the essence of multiple time frame analysis. So I hope to see you tomorrow. And until then, please stay healthy and stay gold. Bye for now.
またね。Thank you.